Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shanti So Pretty, and I'm here with another video. I'm here with a review on these brushes. I mean, I'm just gonna show you in this video, I'm just gonna show you these brushes, and then I'm gonna show you how they feel, how what I think about them, and what my initial thoughts about the, the brushes are like just from feeling them and you know knowing what they're used for so they're from a company called best hope best best op so basically best option and tells you some warnings up on the bag at the front of the bag it just shows you all the brushes clearly through the bag um because it's made in China, obviously everything is made in China. <laughs> so, I'm going to take my brushes out the bag. It was kind of like um, sealed here, so all the brushes, like in case of this thing, oh, oops, I kind of broke this bag, but I don't need the bag anyway. So I'm going to take out all the brushes. And this is the bag. So I'm gonna throw this here. I don't need that. And I'm gonna show you all the brushes. So um, I got my other brushes here. So little paper is telling me all the brushes and what they're used for. So um, let me get into it. So the brushes come like the, the picture of the brushes come like this so it has the numbers and it has what is the brush the brushes and whatever so for the first brush it's an angled brush and it's perfect for blush and bronzer so I believe it's this brush that's this brush and it says for blush and bronzer so let me take out the brush um, let me feel the brush the brush is so soft by the way these brushes are so soft by the way and I think they're yeah super soft like mink they feel like mink I don't know what mink feels actually I know what mink feels like I'm lying but they feel so soft like yeah they feel so soft so this is that brush the second brush is a flat angled brush, which is, um, I believe it's this brush. So this is the flat angled brush. And it's used for, fits all areas of the face seamlessly. So it doesn't tell you what it's for, but let me see what I would use it for. I'd probably use it for concealer. Like, I don't know. Or maybe I'll use it for contour. I don't know. Or even foundation, depending on if it has the, if it's really dense. Well, I believe a, a foundation brush should be dense, so this is not really that dense. So maybe it's good for, um, it could be good for f applying foundation, depending on, like, if the foundation, depending on if the, f the foundation goes into the bristles or whatever but I think it's good for like maybe applying concealer contour so maybe it could be for that the third brush is is a face flat brush blending liquid or cream products into face so basically it's for foundation so that would be this brush so like I said it's supposed to be a dense brush it's supposed to be a tall brush and that's good for putting on foundation so I'm not a brush girl I'm more of a beauty blender girl so like a uh, sponge girl so because i like when my like i get my product in and i get it fast you know brushes are kind of time consuming so i don't really like using brushes but i'll try this brush for the sake of you know using a, having a brush that i can do foundation with so that's that and it's really soft also um the fourth brush is a round buffer it's a round brush buff buff powder foundation application for blending mat material products mineral products onto skin so basically i believe it's this brush is that the fourth no it's not the fourth brush i don't see the fourth brush oh yeah i see this brush 
Is it this brush? Yeah, it's this brush. So that's the fourth brush. And I think also this is also like a dense brush. So this can also be used for foundation. So yeah, this is called the round brush, the round brush. So I think you can also put foundation in and it says it's for like mostly like uh, all, all over face powder. So after putting on the foundation, you can also set your face with this brush. So I think that's a cool brush. There's another brush that's called a tapered brush, best for con concealing the under eyes and nose areas which are hard to reach. So it's this brush. So let's see, let's see if it says, yeah, it can be used for that. And around the nose, mm-hmm. So these brushes do do what they say. Do do. <laughs> All right. The sixth brush is the angled eyeshadow brush, which is it looks like this. Angled eyeshadow brush, right? No, it's not that brush. Uh, the angled eyeshadow brush. Let's see if I can find that. Um, it kind of looks like the the round brush. angled eyeshadow brush I think it's this brush to be honest yeah I think it's no I don't think it's this brush I don't know you see because all these brushes don't have names on it I'm just going by like you know how it looks but I don't know I think this is the eye angled eyeshadow brush no I don't think it's that brush. I think it's this brush actually it's this brush the angled yeah this this brush angled eyeshadow brush so it's a little angled eyeshadow brush it's to me i don't feel it like it's angled but that's what it says it says number six is the angled eyeshadow brush so i think this is the angled eyeshadow brush because um as to how the picture looks i believe that's what the angled eyeshadow brush looks like yeah so let's see it's good for eyeshadow mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's pretty soft just like all the other brushes um Se number seven brush is this brush that I was thinking that was the angled eyeshadow brush, which I think this should be called the angled eyeshadow brush, but it's each to their own. So this brush is good for blending. This is just a blending brush, all the way So I think this is also for eyeshadow, you know. But yeah, it is. It is what it is. It could be even bl blending concealer. This says number eight is the concealer brush, which is this brush. The concealer brush is this brush. So I guess it's good for applying concealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's good for concealer. Um, the ninth brush is, uh, I believe it's this brush, the ninth brush. And a lot of these brushes look similar. so. I wouldn't blame anybody for just using any brush as anything. So I just believe that a lot of the brushes look similar. This is the number nine, which is the detailed brush. So I guess it's like you can use it as a contour, you know, contour brush. So I probably don't know if I'll actually use every brush for what it's, it's used for. But, you know, it's good to have all these brushes because... The most, the most worst thing is not to have any brushes. Um, where am I? Uh, the tenth brush is classic detail brush. So let's see. I think it's, I think it's this brush. I think it's this brush. Yeah, I think it's this brush. This looks like the number. Yeah, this is the number ten brush. Yeah, so it's called the classic detailing brush. Was that the 10 brush? I don't know. I don't know. Classic detailing brush, I believe. Yeah. So, yeah. No, this is 11. This is the, the, the um, precise brush. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's precise brush. Um, Number 12 is... I believe this is number 12. Number 12 is called the angled detailing brush. 
Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm kind of. I'm kind of. There's a lot of brushes. <laughs> Number thirteen is this little tiny brush here. Number thirteen is this little tiny brush, and it's called the eyeliner brush. So you use this for eyeliner, and I can see it using for eyeliner. And I'm pretty glad that I have this brush because I have not had any brush that I can use for eyeliner, which I'm not really good at eyeliner, so. I would love to have a little brush like this when I'm doing eyeliner, so that's a great brush to have. Um, number 14 is a powder brush, so it's like one of these fluffy brushes here, and you apply powder with it, but I thought it would be good for putting on um, glow, like shimmer on your high cheekbones, but when I do use it for that, it doesn't work that well. So. I guess it's for it says for a powder brush so I think I'm gonna use this for my powder got a message coming in but I will not be answering that um, 15 brush is I would say this is number 15 so number 15 brush oh no 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 that's not number 15 number 15 is I don't see number 15. I don't know. I might be missing a brush. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe they didn't put that brush in there because I see. I think I did see number 15 brush, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Let me see if this is number 15. No. I don't know where number 15 is because I think they mistakenly put two brushes in there. I think they put two same brushes in there. So this is supposed to be number 15. And then there's an extra brush, so I'm not sure. I made a mistake, but I'm gonna put that one. Oh, this is number 15 brush. Yeah, this is number 15 brush. Um, number 15 brush is like a double-ended brush, so it has a spoolie at the end, and it has. So I guess this is for your brows. Um, yep, angled brow brush and brush, so it's good to comb your brow. What I do is kind of bend it like so, and then I I go in with my brush with my brows like this and it will be give me a good a better comb out so you see it already made my brows look 10 times better just by using it like that so I think this is definitely a good a good um a good spoolie and it's angled at the end so I can sharpen up my edges I mean I like a more denser brush because this is a bit flimsy but we'll see how it reacts when I'm actually doing the my eyebrows and then the last brush is uh, one of these brushes and they're for eyelashes and eyebrows so I also have another brush that I can use to brush out my eyebrows like if I really want a harder like a real comb out like if my brush my my eyebrows are really um, dense this is a good comb out brush so yeah I really like this this is really good and then if I have eyelashes on, I can use this and comb out my eyelashes, which I they're non-existent right now. But when I put mascara and stuff on, I mean, they come through. So also, what what really spiked my attention about this this kit is that it also had something to wash my brushes with. I have this, but it's also good to be in a brush kit because. Trust me, when you when you need to wash your brushes, it's really hard to wash them by just switching it around in the water because you know you don't want the glue to get like really messed up. So this is really this is a really good product. I have one. So later on when I get to 1K, this will be my 1K, one of my 1K giveaways. Like I have other some so, some small giveaways that I'm gonna be doing sporadically. I mean I go live sometimes so you might can catch my lives when I be giving away some stuff but I think when I get to 1k I'm gonna give away uh, some really good products but for now I'll be keeping this in my stash just to just to like you know have some extra you know stuff but I'm not gonna use it I'm gonna be putting it in my giveaway anyways and what is the bonus 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 is that this with beauty blenders guys 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 
I go to the store regularly spend eight dollars for one beauty blender I bought this one like it's a um, what is it called again a uh, OPI OPI yeah an OPI or I think it's a quo sponge and it actually works good but I feel like eight dollars for one sponge and I got 16 brushes plus sponges plus a brush washer which I bought a brush washer at Forever 21 when it was in Canada for like 20 bucks I mean not 20 bucks damn 20 bucks that's a little bit too much but I think it was 250 but I feel like it's not necessary to be like buying extra products when you can just get them in a whole kit and I feel like yeah and they're individually wrapped so Come through, come through, baby girl. Come on. Look at this. This is so amazing. I mean, I wish I got a black one, but you can't go wrong with beauty blenders. And these are actually look like beauty blender. Like like the egg. Like the actual like beauty blender is not it's not a beauty blender. It's beauty blender. Like the product is called beauty blender. If you know what I mean. But yeah, like they're all actually, I thought they were like all just stacked in the bag like that, but they're all indirectly, individually wrapped. So if you would want to just throw this away, I mean, you can throw this away and you'll still have these little individually wrapped so they won't get dirty. But I digress. So this is the end of the video. I just wanted to show these, what I got in this um, product bag. They're called, they're called Best Op. They're called Best Op and it comes with beauty blenders, a brush washer, and 16 brushes. So these are all the brushes and this is, tells you what they're all used for. And in the back it tells you washing um, usage tips. So it says normal, normal maintenance, brush just gently. So it's basically telling you what to do when you're maintaining these brushes. And it also tells you how to clean the brushes. And it also tells you how to store makeup brushes. So it says, if you're not planning to use the brushes for a long, for a long time, you can clean the brushes and put them in a makeup brush holder with bristles facing upward. So that's what I do with my brushes anyways. So I have them on my table, like ready to use at all, all given times. And I just got them so now that I, I have so many brushes here I mean I'm gonna throw out the brushes I don't need which are wonky like a lot of my brushes I, I think I threw out a lot of brushes anyway so I don't really have much to throw out but there's some brushes that just are so wonky that like I don't know like some of them are just like really shaky and stuff but I digress I'm not gonna bump these brushes for nothing because they do work and every time I get a ipsy bag I get brushes but like lately I haven't been getting brushes but you know that you know the thing they always switch up their products every so often so but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the upcoming video when with me using these brushes in a makeup look so y'all stay tuned for that video and I hope y'all like comment down below how you what you think about these brushes how they look to you like just comment down below just give me a little feedback about the brushes um if you're gonna buy the brushes let me know if you're gonna buy them because they're on amazon and you know you can get that one day shipping with the amazon prime so you know best believe i be doing that so bye y'all